I wanted to quickly show you the topical vaginal estrogens that are available. Some of them are available on the NHS and some of them you might have to check your local area to see about availability. I know we do have issues around stock in and around the UK as well. I just wanted to show you what they're like and also when you might want to use them. So save this video for later and also please leave any comments at the end of this video once I've made it. I had a chance to go through into my in-house pharmacist Sam and I basically went out and looked at what's available that we've got at the moment just so I can show you. The most typical thing that I get asked is should I be on topical vaginal estrogen even if I don't have symptoms? Now I do believe that as a doctor that we should be thinking about vaginal atrophy or genitourinary syndrome of the menopause for our patients and therefore if you get any symptoms of recurrent urinary tract infections, if you've ever had soreness or painful when you went to have the smear or if you've had an itch that hasn't gone away or any symptoms that is associated with vaginal atrophy or genital urinary syndrome or the menopause, even if you are still having periods and you have no issues getting lots of lubrication when you're aroused or, or your sexual desire hasn't gone down, then actually we still should be thinking about topical vaginal estrogen. One of the things that I do recommend is Vagifem and over the counter, this is known as Gina. The other version of this, so that's what Vagifem looks like and it comes in little uh, pessaries such as this. So this is a applicator with a tablet, as you can see at the end of it. In the box of Vagifems, what happens is, is you get each individual preloaded applicators just like this. These are brilliant. You use one every night uh, and then you reduce down to the bare minimum of twice weekly and your doctor might tell you afterwards how to use it. The problem with this is, is that there's a lot of plastic. So if you're using one every night for two weeks, yeah, these are single use only. And for a lot of people, they want to protect the environment and rightly so, then they might find that this actually doesn't feel ethically right to them. And so for that purpose, what we do have next is Vagirux. So Vagirux and Vagifem, these are exactly the same product. Just in this one, you have a single use applicator and it comes with the 10 micrograms of vaginal topical estrogen but it's a single use for some people they might feel actually it doesn't suit them very well um, the applicator can be quite stiff as well and also they have to wash it in between and that can be sort of laborious on their time or actually they don't mind the fact that it's single use i usually give an option we sometimes do try and put this on the nhs because again we're trying to save as much plastic as possible if you prefer vagifem then just ask your nhs gp i don't mind changing the prescription then there's also Invagis. This is another type of topical vaginal estrogen and this is 0.0 milligrams uh, of estrol and one pessary contains estrol and it's a small pessary. Again, it comes with its own applicator and it's a pessary that goes inside the vaginal area. Sometimes we can have difficulty getting hold of this and also there is a cost implication. So if you're looking at Vagirus, and Invagis, then actually this is a slightly more pricier than this. So therefore there is that sort of discrepancy that you might have when it comes to just prescribing something on the NHS. Then we do get a mixture of vaginal estrogen and a moisturizer as well. So this is called Blessil. So Blessil is, I really prefer this with some of my patients who might have a real problem or just time saving that they're having a real pain trying to get vaginal estrogen on because especially if you come and it's really particularly sore then having something that's also got a moisturizer in as well is a really good idea. The vaginal moisturizers out there, there's a couple, there's Yes, there's Hylofem as well. So the Yes looks like this one. So that's what I sometimes prescribe for my patients. But it's really important to look for something that doesn't have glycerin in it because anything that's got glycerin in it might actually trigger off any underlying thrush or issues that you might have been experiencing. So Blissel is great because this has got a moisturizer already in it and it's also got estriol vaginal estrogen so it comes as a combination of both for some people this is enough for some people they might need that extra little bit of estrogen as well this is slightly more pricey so it comes in a tube a 30 gram per tube so this is more pricier than say some of the vagifem pessaries as well but actually 
if you're particularly dry then I try and go for this for my patients because it's all in one and then I say to them put on an extra vaginal moisturizer or Hylofem if that is suitable. This is Intra Rosa. Intra Rosa is another topical vaginal estrogen, but it's not a type of vaginal estrogen. It's DHEA, it's Prasterone, which is the medical term, 6.5 milligram pessary, and you use one pessary every night. Intra Rosa is something that I use for my patients who have had breast cancer or have had treatment for breast cancer in the past. And this is something that is converted into estrogen once you use it, works really, really really well for patients who have genitourinary syndrome of the menopause. Um, some of the things that you might need to consider with this is, again, its availability. We do have issues around stock. I know around the UK, some of my patients are letting me know that that's the case. And also it can be an issue in regards to insertion as well. You have to get quite high up and it does come with a, an applicator, but it works really, really well. This is safe to use for patients who might be actively going through oncological treatment for their breast cancer. Please do consider discussing with your breast cancer surgeon and your oncology team that they might be able to let you know when is the appropriate time to start using this. The other question that I get from a lot of my patients is topical vaginal estrogen. I have a family history of breast cancer, is it safe for me to use? If you have a family history of breast cancer, it is completely safe to use topical vaginal estrogen because it just goes in and around the area, the vulval skin tissue, and that's it. It doesn't get absorbed into the bloodstream as much as you would expect it to be with say topical estrogen that goes systemically throughout your whole bloodstream. So just to give you an idea, Vagifem, which comes with an applicator such as this. And if you were using estrogel, this is the estrogel, this goes throughout your whole body, then you would need to use a year's worth of this, of topical vaginal estrogen, for a single day's dose of this. That's the dose equivalent. It's a very, very small dose. It is safe if you've got a family history of breast cancer. Then I get a lot of women who say that I've had a history of breast cancer, now I've been treated and I've been discharged. Is it safe for me to use topical vaginal estrogen? Yes, it is still safe for you to use topical vaginal estrogen even after you've been treated many years along. One of the things that I say to my patients consistently is regardless of your age, please start using topical vaginal moisturizers. In your 20s and your 30s, you might think that you don't need it. For everybody, using something that's going to hydrate the skin and allow the mucosal membrane in and around the vagina and the vulva to be hydrated and to be nice and plump will help things like genitourinary syndrome or the menopause, even prevention of that developing later on. But for patients who are undergoing breast cancer treatment, that can push you into what's known as chemical menopause. So it's well worth making sure that you are using a vaginal moisturizer. The other thing that I get from a lot of patients is they say, I've had a clot or I've got a family history of a clot. Is it safe for me to use topical vaginal estrogen? You know the answer by now, you know what I'm gonna tell you. Yes, it's still completely safe for you to use topical vaginal estrogen once you've had treatment with this, because again, it just goes locally. It doesn't get absorbed into the bloodstream at all. So I hope that's been helpful. Oh, one of the other topical treatments is a cream as well. So this is Estriol cream. It's got 0.01% available on the NHS. And this is a cream that sometimes I say to my patients to use internally and externally on the vulval tissue as well. So patients who've got vulval lichen sclerosis and they get that persistent itch and soreness, um, it's safe for you to use this alongside your other treatments because this is going to, especially in the perimenopausal phase, for those that suffer from, say, vulval skin issues and using estrogen to replenish that skin back. The difference between a cream and say Vagifem, which is a pessary. The pessary will go inside the vagina. This is available as a cream on the outside. This might be slightly messy. Some people don't like the cream so much because they, they go everywhere. Some people just like that it's nice and clean and they can just get a pessary inside the vagina because that's the area that's most problematic for them. For others, actually, it doesn't really matter. They just like to have the sensation of the softness of the cream. This can leave you with a slight residue as well afterwards or feel that you're slightly wet down down below because obviously it's a cream mixture but actually the majority of my patients when done correctly works 
works fabulously for them. So one other choice for topical vaginal estrogen is Eastring, and that's what it looks like. It's this flexible plastic tube that goes into the vaginal cavity and it's got topical vaginal estrogen in there. This provides three months worth of topical vaginal estrogen. I get a lot of patients that say, well, what's the difference between Vagifem and this? Well, essentially this stays inside the vaginal cavity. It goes in a bit like a tampon like this and goes into the vagina and then it opens up and sits next to the cervix. This is brilliant for patients who might want a little bit more estrogen or need a daily insertion of topical vaginal estrogen. This is great for any patients that might have arthritic issues. I use this for some of my patients who might have a prolapse issue as well because it can act like a vaginal ring pessary inside the vagina. This is a topical vaginal estrogen known as Vagifem and with Vagifem you'd have to have an applicator and you insert on a twice weekly basis or even a bit more depending on what your healthcare provider's Says, this requires your GP or a nurse who's trained in it to insert this in for you into the right position. And then three months later, some people come back and they get an exchange. A lot of my patients are actually, I teach them how to put this in because it goes in a bit like a tampon. So you fold it into the middle at the bottom and using lots of lubrication, then obviously you insert it inside as far and, and as high as it will go. It does require a bit of getting used to, and it requires a bit of sort of dexterity as well on the patient's behalf. But as a GP, I have no issues with my patients coming in and booking an appointment to get their E-string exchange. I'm a huge fan of these. I know that there is a few issues regarding availability around the UK and whether it's covered by your local area in the CCB area, or whether it's covered by your local CCB provider but this is a great way of getting topical uh, vaginal estrogen as well and once it's in you can forget about it for about three months and then come back and get it exchanged again. A lot of patients ask me can they have sex while this is still in? It, again everybody's slightly different. I've had some patients who have had sex with the e-string in and their partners never felt it or the patient hasn't ha had any issues as well but some of my patients they do find that it can be slightly discomforting as well but that could be because they've already got genitourinary syndrome or the menopause and they're having difficulty having sex. This is where using a vaginal moisturizer and a good amount of vaginal lubrication is so important. It's so vital to look and explore and think about how you can have um, safe and comfortable sex and that's appropriate for both of you as a couple. It's well worth trying if you want to have sex with the e-string in. I don't say refrain or anything like that. <laughs> so as you can see there's a whole different ranges that we have. It's not one size that fits all. I use a completely different ranges of treatments for different patients and if one doesn't work for you please don't panic and think that that's it for you you can't use any topical vaginal estrogen that's not the case I tend to use different ones for different patients I hope that's been useful